Good afternoon. Welcome to Jim Lindley's World of Weather. You clicked on to long range weather forecast discussion for October 23rd through November 6th. First, before I get to the forecast, NOAA has released its winter forecast and it's predicting you can see below normal temperatures here, above normal temperatures, much of this region here. And they're expecting, and also Alaska here, above normal temperatures for um, far northern and western. Alaska. Now, um, they're expecting La Nina to be uh, very active for the and will be controlling the features in um, during the winter months. And typically, this is what happens in the La Nina year. It's drier to the south, colder to the north, and um, it brings the storm track further north into the northwest and down into across the Great Lakes. And you can see they have above normal precipitation for the typical areas in a La Nina year into the Great Lakes. Now, um, for parts of the east, like this is the third year we had a La Nina winter. And um, we're right on the borderline with the precipitation and temperature. So it could go either way, you know, and um, there's a lot more. I haven't come out with my winter prediction yet. I usually wait till like uh, the end of November. And um, there's a lot of things that go into the winter forecast, such as I talked about the other day, um, sea ice extent, snow cover in um, Eurasia, um, the NAO, the AO, the PDO, and all the other indexes that all go into that. And sometimes there'll be one factor other than La Nina that will affect this pattern. So um, we have to wait and see whether this comes true or not. Doesn't mean that it'll be typically warm all the time. There, there probably will be some cold outbreaks, but predominantly they're predicting above normal temperatures for this area. Okay, we're going to get to the forecast now. Okay, um, this is for the period of um, for October 23rd to the 27th. And I got to move this up again because of problems yesterday. All right, go 23rd to 27th. And you can see we have a trough here in the west, ridge in the east. Also have a ridge here. This is what forces this trough inland. Now this trough will um, eventually move eastward and it'll be into um, the western states, spread precipitation to the western states by Sunday and into, uh, into the plains thereafter along with a strong cold front. Now, snow will be possible in the Rockies, and we'll take a look. You see snow here, parts of the Rockies. And then also on the backside of the system as it lifts into Canada, as typical like on these systems. And there would be a potential for mild to heavy rain further south. You can see here uh, across this region here, across central and southern plains. And rain has become more likely for portions of the Mid-Atlantic uh, early next week due to an upper low and a slow moving frontal boundary. And we'll also take a look at that. Now um, we'll go into Monday. You can see right behind here, there's a low off the southeast coast. And it could be, I don't know if it'll be subtropical, a hybrid or something, but it's a system out there. Um, the National Hurricane Center isn't watching this. There's nothing issued on this, no human potential. But you can see as we go into the period, there's some rain. Now, the GFS keeps it more out to sea. And then we'll look at the European, brings it more, you can see here, close to the coast of rain further inland. And then we'll look at the Canadian, also brings it further to the north, it's spreading precipitation in the Middle Atlantic and the Northeast. So we have to wait and see how this develops by tomorrow and Saturday. Okay, we're going to look at the period now for October 28th through November 1st. And little overall change is expected. We have our trough here, ridge here, also a ridge out here. But later on, this ridge will be pushing inland, pushing the trough eastward. We'll see that. So um, the models are pretty good agreement on this flow. So for this forecast uh, period, I'm calling for below normal temperatures here. And I'm calling for an anomaly to be about 48 degrees below normal, above normal temperatures here with anomalies expected to be near or more four, five degrees above normal for precipitation. 
calling for above normal precipitation here. Probability of occurrence is 35%. Below normal precipitation for this region, probability of occurrence is 35 to 40%. Now for the period of October or November 2nd to the 6th. And the flow is rather flat. You can see here with weak height anomalies, nearly zonal flow. And uh, if you look at what the GFS is doing, you have an upper low here pushing this ridge inland, bringing a return of a ridge here and a return of the trough here in the east. But this doesn't really uh, tell, connect well what's going on over in Asia. Because if you look at Asia for the same period, has a trough, has a ridge here. So when there's a ridge here over um, Eastern Asia, um, when there's a trough here, it brings a, uh, a trough in the east, but there isn't, so it's a ridge here, so it's a ridge across the east. So I think that's what the pattern is going to consist of. It would be more of um, the same pattern what we've been experiencing in the east. So for this forecast period, I'm calling for little change in temperature anomalies and for precipitation, calling for below normal precipitation for this region. Probability of occurrence is 35% um, here and the chances of below normal precipitation is 35 to 40% from the plains to the Atlantic coast. So that's the long range weather forecast discussion for October 23rd through November 6th. Thanks for coming to Jim Munley's World of Weather and have a good day.